Hey Valley Middle School STEM, welcome back to another STEMS Day activity. Today we're going to be doing an activity called Parachute to Safety. Now before we get started, here are a couple of trivia questions about the word parachute. First of all, who and what is the record for the most parachute jumps in one day and who holds it? Secondly, what late 80s rapper helped make parachute pants popular? We'll be back with the answers to that after our instruction tonight. Today, your challenge will be to design and build a parachute in your small group. More specifically, we're going to ask you to design and build a parachute that will get your paratrooper to the ground as slowly and as accurately as possible. Help, I'm falling too fast. Who designed this parachute? Did they use the collaborative design process? Oh yeah, I think they used it. I think they spent a lot of time on it, actually. All right, here's the material. It's going to have a scissors, a plastic bag, roll of masking tape, a coffee filter, some string, and a parrot trooper, a.k.a. Perry Trooper. Tater salad, if you like. All right, your constraints you'll be working under today. Your parrot trooper must be dropped, not thrown upward. You can only use the materials provided, and your homeroom teacher will determine the test drop height and location. Remember to use the collaborative design process. If only I had used the collaborative design process, this never would have happened. Oh, you know, everybody's using it. I was watching The Walking Dead the other night, and I saw this scene. Carl, we'll use the Valley Middle School's collaborative design process to build a parachute. We'll climb up to the tower, jump off over the top of the zombies at the high school football game doing the thriller dance, and onto the back of Daryl's motorcycle. Sorry, it was a late night. Uh, all right, moving forward, as you move through the cloud design process, reflect upon these questions. What variables are impacting the speed of your drop? What about the accuracy? Early finishers. Why don't you use a piece of paper as a target and see if you can determine the best location to hit that target, or the best drop location. All right, let's go through wrapping up and cleaning up time. Please put the tape and scissors back in the bag. Toss everything else. One person can keep Perry Trooper. Remember, he's vegan. And leave time for that all-important wrap-up discussion. All right, time for the answers to tonight's trivia question. Who holds uh, the record for the most parachute jumps in 24 hours, and what is it? This guy named Jay Stokes, former uh, U.S. Army. Uh, a ranger, I believe. Guy was unbelievable. Uh, he did 640 jumps in a 24 hour period of time. You calculate how many jumps that is, uh, per hour or how many minutes per jump. It's crazy. Uh, from about 2300 feet, he'd hit the ground. You can see him getting peeled out of this unit, ran, jumped into a plane where he put on another unit and jumped out. They, he jumped from, I think, 2,300 feet. This guy has spent 334 hours in his lifetime falling. That's like 14 days or something like that. Over 25,000 jumps. Jay Stokes, quite a guy. Uh, you're probably more interested in the origin of the parachute pants. Well, you probably already know MC Hammer, uh, actually born Stanley Kirk Burrell. A lot of our admins were way into the whole parachute pants thing, you know, at the last meeting. They even made a little nicknames. Missy Parachuty, also known as Ms. Buckwall. MC Tidwell. Mrs. Thomas goes by Lil Hammer. And, of course, the big hammer himself. Thanks for listening. Have a great time today. Bye.